intercessory prayers by members of the coalition of Christian leaders in Edo State, drawn from the three senatorial districts of the state, as they called on God to intervene in the alleged hardship that confronts Nigerians. In an address of welcome, Pastor Jeff Iona once said Christians should be concerned about the individuals that will be voted as the president of Nigeria and members of the national state houses of assemblies. He called on Christian leaders to encourage their members to elect the president that will be fair to all Nigerians, just as the keynote speaker, Bishop Abraham Chibundu, said, God has seen the afflictions of Nigerians and he is going to turn things around for the better. It is no secret that the last three and a half years have been characterized by a lot of bloodletting, hunger, unbearable hardship, and obvious discrimination against the South and particularly the church. It's very clear to the school children, down to the market women, down to the person in the village, every one of us feels the pain. We feel the pain. Let us go and mobilize our people and encourage them to go out to vote for a man that will take all Nigerians to be one. Some clerics in attendance spoke on what Christians should do in the next election, adding that church leaders should encourage their members to cast their votes for a president that will be fair to all in the six geopolitical zones of the country. Let us put PDP aside, put LPC aside. We want to come to the center now. We are here as a Christian, which way forward. But the present head that is disturbing us like Goliath, let us first do the head. We should not vote for any government that remove Christian religious study from the back door. It is time to take action. Mobilize your members, show them the way. If you are a child of truth, you should know that what is going on in this nation now is not of God. And whatever that is not of God must be rooted out. We are here to stand for the truth. We can see very clearly that if we complete, allow this present government to continue, in the next four years, I wonder the fate of Christianity in Nigeria. The very first thing we refuse good luck, this is the consequence. Of a man who refused to know what the Lord is he praying for? Five years, six years ago, how much was the bag of rice? How much is it today? Now, are you not saying where we are now is better than where we are coming from? Tommy Q issued at the end of the one state conference, organized by the coalitions of Christian leaders in a two state. We therefore call on all Christians to vote all PDP candidates to enable the party to do what they have promised. To make things better in Nigeria. The conference also called on all Nigerians to mobilize massively to vote for Alaji Abubakar Tiku on the election day, why Nigerians were also enjoined to vote and defend their votes. Some persons in attendance, including the state chairman of PDP, Chief Dan Obi, said the meeting was timely. I will never shy away from telling people that I'm a Christian before a politician. It is not about PDP. It is not about APC. It is about Nigeria. We are not saying that Muslims are our enemies. There are some Muslims who are our brothers and our friends. The party I belong to today, the presidential candidate is a Muslim. So it is a Muslim who can come to church. It's a Muslim who will respect the church. It's a Muslim who can empower the church. The gathering agreed that elections should not be left to politicians alone, but all citizens of the country should be actively involved to guarantee what they described as a better Nigeria. Best Mbire reporting.